Hey there, and thanks for joining me on this tutorial. I'm going to be going over masking, just a basic mask. So what I have here is a sample of the finished product. Not perfect, but as you get it. Here's the pink, and that is this layer here. I have this top layer muted. And when I mute down that second track, you can see that is where the mask lives. You can also tell by identifying, by looking at the pan and crop tool because it will be selected. So what you want to do first is take the clip that you want to do this effect to and copy it and put it on the track two. So track three here is my baseline track where I'm gonna put an effect. I have track two, that's where I'm gonna put my mask, and then it's like floating over the third track. So just think about it like that. You're just cutting these pieces out of butterfly, flying it around on top of a picture. So here is the top track, and I duplicated it. It didn't have an effect. This bottom track for this tutorial, I want to go black and white. So I went to black and white, and I just selected it all the way. But this top track, I don't want that to happen to because I want to do a mask. I'm going to mute this second track that I already worked on and go into the event pan crop tool. When you open it up, it's going to come to the event pan crop tool and it's going to be on position. I did another tutorial on this and please check it out if you want to learn how to do that. But for this purpose, we're going to go mask. Now you want to go to the beginning of your clip. And over here is the toolbar that you'll be needing. Make sure that you have Move Freely, all X and Y selected. And this is the Anchor Creation tool, and this is the Normal Edit tool. Pretty much these are the two that you want to use. Anchor Creation tool. I zoom in. I make sure I'm selected on my track that I want to be affecting. And I go down to this window, and I just start placing some anchor points. click along, you have to connect them, and then it grays everything else out. And now what you want to do is go over and select some sort of feather type. You can really just see what looks good and then, you know, is it in or out or whatever, but make sure that you put like a percentage in here. I'm just going to go 5% and now I'm actually going to go 3%. And that looks better. You can see on your preview window that it's being um, affected as you're working on it. Okay, so I muted my audio tracks. But I'm going to go up to this window and I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to drag this cursor. Now this cursor is going to sync with my timeline cursor. And if it does not, then you need to make sure that you have this sync cursor selected. So just toggle along, toggle along. We're actually moving along the video clips. There just isn't a whole lot of movement right now. I'm going to go back though and clean this up just a little bit when it moves. Right there. Okay, see how it bends? So that's because I'm on the Anchor Creation tool and I need to just be a normal edit tool. You'll just click down there and then these little um, nodes will appear, these keyframes. So you can see how this has changed and I'm just going to right click on that and I just changed it back to anchor. 
and then I'm going to move these around just a little bit more and you can see actually where the feather effect comes into play and then you just keep toggling along and wait for movement. Here comes a little bit. So each time there's a little movement, you just readjust these and you know it is very time consuming, but that's what makes it so rewarding at the end. You can take the whole like group of them, but in my scenario, I'm just retuning them. Okay, so anyhow, you get the idea, and then we can see over here, we'll actually just watch this. Okay. And you can see how this is actually kind of fun what happens because I have the feather on. It kind of just like melts away. And so you could have like a flower where it was just like the color was like melting out of it, which would be a lot of fun to do if we came across that scenario. But we'll just mute this down, bring this one back up. I didn't use this whole clip here, but you can see. It's only for like a tiny couple seconds. So anyhow, hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you can get something out of it. Hopefully your project looks great. And if you have any comments, you can feel free to leave them. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching.